Alright, are we good? We should be good. Alright, uh... Is it going to work today? Um... I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm assuming you're asking about... Yeah, so if you weren't here last night, um... I tried to stream Portal, um... But it did not go well, so as you can see... We're doing Galaxy Gallery tonight instead. Um... Also, hello, Circa Boom. I think this is actually the first Galaxy Gallery stream you've actually been here for, because the last time went about as well as that attempt to stream Portal. Let's just say that much. Um, but yeah, between those Galaxy Gallery streams, you know, I went back and I just, like, redid all the stuff that wasn't working before, and so now we have this. We got a little bit of a head-turning animation that works. We've got that. We got a little bit of a basis to work on. So, if you're coming here for the first time, as far as this project goes, um, let me just kind of stop that for a quick second, and I'll show you, um, what I'm working on. So if you're not familiar with what the current goings on, uh, I'm doing the Donkey Kong reanimated project, I'm a part of that, and the scene that I've been assigned to animate goes a little something like this. Let me just open that up and drag it over here. <laughs> this is too easy. Yeah, you get you get yeah, the, the 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 idea. So what I what I already have here, what I did last time is a background, and I attempted to do a little bit of storyboarding stuff, but didn't go so well. So this is why this is different than what happened last time. I honestly wish I did this on stream, but I was worried I was gonna make like a second mistake here. So basically what I'm going to do is that uh, he does like five he, he does five he 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 he, and so there's five of these, and so I'm going to do like in-betweens where his head's actually kind of like bobbing around. I'm hoping that that's going to create like a cool like bit of like a 3D effect, because you can see like the crown and the snow, and it's all got like different movements to it. And then he gasps, and then he says, this is too easy. So you know. And because the head is like able to be like a separate moving thing, um, this actually might be pretty doable to get this all done in like the one session and just have like all the head movement done all the body movement able to just like be separate things and then put those assets together as needed to save on, uh, a little bit of time um so with that uh let's get into it let's resume the donkey kong music um also if you weren't here last night uh twitch emotes or not twitch emotes um <laughs> speed run animating uh i guess this is where you would want to save the frames um, but yeah, the sub badges are live, so if you are a subscriber, yeah, sub badges. If you're a subscriber, those are live. Um, I think I've been an affiliate for about three months. A little under, I think. Um, so I'm pretty sure everybody who is subscribed to would have base badges, but coming up pretty soon. I think the next time people subscriptions, like, refresh, uh, you guys are gonna get the three-month badges. So that'll be a thing. Speaking of emotes, though, that could be something that I do on Galaxy Gallery as well, because right now the one emote that I have is just like a sprite of Keaton from Fire Emblem Fates, and it probably is going to be Keaton related if we're being honest, but I'm hoping to maybe like make it a little bit something different. We'll see. Um, so I guess the first thing I want to do here is just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the timeline alone for now, and I'm just going to like change these numbers here so that I have like proper in-between layers to bounce between here. So it's going to be like that, and then we're going to have a 2 and a 3, and then... Honestly, this is going to destroy the whole timeline, so I may as well get rid of the whole thing. Okay. Let's set these two to 50% transparency and just do a little bit of in-betweening. Eh? Oh, this is the ref. I, I have mistaken myself. Oh, but this is gonna be a little interesting because I'm not necessarily drawing in-betweens. Like the head's kinda gotta be bouncing up and down. So it's not necessarily like a linear in-between, as it as one might think. So let's see, I think what I wanna do here is either like draw this oh, this is this is wrong. Is either like oh this layer is 50% as well. Let's fix that. Is either like have it down here so that it goes like down and up and down and up and down and up as he like laughs and turns or have it higher up so that it's up and down and up and down and up and down. Perhaps this, I prematurely deleted these layers, so it's two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I might have it go down and up then because if it's coming up to this point on the final he, 
You really gotta time the he's appropriately. Okay. So it's gonna be going down, so... Basically, if you haven't, uh... I mean, I'd hardly call the last Galaxy Gallery quote-unquote animating, but basically the whole process here is you, you, you take a look between... Basically, the way standard in-betweening would work is that you just take a look at two frames, you see, like, the differences between, like, these two lines here, and then you would just draw in between, and you would see these two lines, and you draw in between, and, you know, you just keep doing that until you get a proper in-between. But that's not quite what we're going for, because, again, that's now has got to move. I mean, we could kind of do that, and then just lower it. That works. What I also might want to do here, in this specific situation, is maybe apply some, like, color overlays here, just so that we can have, um, a we can tell a little bit easier what layer is what. And then we'll make this one blue. Also, all these windows are on the, <laughs> on the laptop display again. Because that's how Photoshop be. My knowledge of animation ascends, it better. Wish I could say the same for me. I also might want to move this back to the original position here. I mean, that's why it is called in-betweening, yeah. Yeah, so I think what I am going to do here is at least, like, capture the elements that are going to remain the same between frames, and then, like, I don't know. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is the storyboarding phase. Um, when I actually get to, like, the proper final animation, it is going to be done in Flash rather than Photoshop. Um, but this gives me, like, a good, like, sense of the timing. Um, but once all these, like, what I'm doing right now is, like, keyframes. So these are going to be, like, the core poses that the animation is going to, like, cycle through. Um, and then once I'm in Flash, I'm gonna add, like, way more in-betweens, um, to properly, uh, space it out or whatever. So basically... We've already got the five heads for the five hee-hees, and then after that we need the four down poses between the hees, maybe a fifth one at the beginning, I don't know, but something along the lines of that, and then from there we'll see what we can do. We'll make, we'll make a judgment based on where we are by the end of the night. Yeah, so for now, we'll just do in-betweens, and then I'll move the front down when the time comes. Speaking of, the time has come. Animation is just smushing off model things together and calling it okay. I mean, pretty much. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, now it's gotta go like that. It's not quite as linear of a process, so it's a little interesting to, to kind of figure out what I'm trying to do here. But I think I got this. How are you, Griffin? Not good, but thanks for asking. <laughs> I talked to my ex-boyfriend today like a fucking idiot. That was a thing. Okay, so now you can still see like the positions between both of the teethies, so you can kind of just do that and then you're good to go. These first two are kind of aligned with the snout, so that's pretty easy to, to manage. Not good, but you're not an idiot. I'm sorry man, yeah you're great. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you. Yeah, it's like the first time I've talked to them since he he broke up with me, but I don't know. I'm a dang fool! Okay, so now the next in-between goes there. Yeah, thanks a lot for the support, guys. That means a lot. And then I'll kind of just wing it with these, but the thing is... You get these two front teeth, and then there's five teeth this way, and I only did four that time, so something's afoot. Hmm. I 
believe this in between goes there. Okay. These things just take time and everybody handles it differently. I don't know, I'm just a fucking inexperienced gay. That's how it is on this bitch of an earth. What's very upsetting about that phrase, you know, like, that's a very common Griffin thing to say, but only recently did I remember, I might have actually talked about this on stream before, but, um, I only recently remembered the image that it's associated with, where Luigi's like, <laughs> got his bulge out, and, uh, like, I just fucking said it w without even remembering where it was from, like, oh yeah, that's the source, isn't it? So, I've already got it, like, ingrained to the point where I'm saying it all the time, but every time I do, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the source material, isn't it? I just get a, a war flashback of Luigi's bulge, and it's very upsetting. Yeah, though, um, I wanted to... You know, I just finished Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, right? And... I wanted to do something related to that, because, like, you know, if, if you've been keeping up with that series, you know that there's a certain someone in that game who is my fave, name of Nesala, and I was like, hmm, Galaxy Gallery would probably be a good opportunity to, to draw him right, but the thing about being a part of the Donkey Kong reanimated project is it has deadlines, so <laughs> I just want to get this out of the way first, because, you know, there's no deadlines on my own thirst, as much as I would like there to be. Um, I guess Keat Week is the closest thing that comes to that, but I think... You know, one deadline is enough. So I think if I do uh, end up doing any more Galaxy Gallery streams um, before this is finished, it's just going to be working on this because I don't want to end up missing the deadline because I love working on these reanimated things. They're great. Okay. That's good. The rest is easy. Um, the rest of this doesn't really move, so kind of just trace it. And again, it's storyboarding, so it doesn't have to be, like, super accurate. I say as I proceed to painstakingly, <laughs> painstakingly make it super accurate. I mean, hey, if I ever need to include the storyboarding phase in anything, then hey, that works. And then the crown's pretty easy, they're just a bunch of straight lines. And there's no bouncing going on with that, so that's just proper in-betweening. So now we'll turn those off, we'll clear the layer style, and we're good to go. Actually, this is woke. We only clear the layer style on this one, leave number three, and then re-add it to this one. Number three, a child. And there we are. Just gotta switch up the transparency. And the process begins anew. Or does it? What exactly have I done here? Eh? What is number five? Number five is a real drawing. Okay, so this is the downwards facing one, and then three, and then... Oh, right. Okay, I may have made a mistake here. I gotta copy this, and then I gotta clear this. It, there, it's This is supposed to go on layer 5, and there's supposed to be a 4 in between 3 and 5, which I did not do. He is the problem. Luigi is a good boy. Think of that. But he's not. I would be telling myself a lie. Okay, there we go. I might switch up the music here. Speaking of the last uh, Galaxy Gallery, there was one specific Donkey Kong related track that I wanted to get my hands on, but I just couldn't find it. But between those streams, I did find it. Let's switch to that. Let's switch to uh, Lagoon Promenade from Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. This is good. This is valid. Okay. Yeah, it's mainly just the teeth that I find the most time-consuming. I don't know if it's like the most efficient thing to do them all right now in the storyboarding phase, or to do that later, but I feel safer doing it now, I think.
Oh, that's... Ah! Jesus, the fucking Grant Kirkhope horns. He's at it again, boys. I honestly <laughs> might switch back to the Donkey Kong 64 version, because this one's, like, very loud and aggressive. I was expecting this to be a little more chill, but okay. See, like, this is nice. Just let it all be chill. Talk about horny. Oh, ha ha. You got me, Sir Kaboon. Where'd you get that one from? Mobius.com? If people have not watched the highlights video, people are going to be very, very concerned about how I know of such a website. Yeah, I don't know. This is a little aggressive. I don't know. Uh, DK64, DK Island. DK Isle. I don't know my Donkey Kong 64. See, okay, this is a little more chill. I can work with this. After all the hype, I finally got what I wanted. Was it worth it? I don't think so. Don't give me that DW face. You know what you did, Sir Kaboon. Oh, that's a good question. How, like, how far down did it go? Because I have to make sure that that's, like, kind of consistent as well. Okay, that should be good. So, back to four. And let me see that beautiful smile, King K. Roll. I hope the final product that I end up with ends up looking good this time, because... I have no idea what you're referring to. Don't listen. Listen. You can't get out of this one, Sir Kaboon. It's all recorded. It's all highlighted. That's a part of stream history now. Let's see, so it should be about... down here. Oh, wait, here's a thought. Do you think that the mouth should be, like, opening and closing as as he does this turning? Because right now, all of these things are open-mouthed, no matter what the frame is. And if he's, like, laughing, I'm thinking maybe I should, like, modulate the openness of the mouth to create more of a laughing effect in the jaw. I might do that. I might go back and kind of, like, interlock the teeth a little more on these frames. Yeah, I'll just like finish drawing all the top ones and then, so this is three, this is three, bring it down here, that's three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, this is four, this is four. It would, it would look better? Yeah. I actually did say the name. It's not in the highlights video, but I did say it on stream. I just specifically cut it out to prevent any viewers who were only watching the highlights video of being uh, burdened with the knowledge of the name of that website. I'm glad I can say that I've still never gone to the, to the website. <laughs> I already said it during this stream, but I think the less I say it, the better. Okay, maybe like with a little bit of a gap. Not entirely closed, but a little bit of a gap. That, that's good. I meant my name. Tumblr? No, it's... I mean, hey, just watch the Sonic Adventure highlights and you'll find out soon enough. The 2 one, to be specific. Sonic Adventure 2 battle highlights. Available now on the full galaxy! Yo, hold on a second. The end should be down here. 
look, this is where this jaw ends, and then this is where this jaw ends, so it should be between there. What gives, Griffin? I guess I'll do that, sure. Maybe fix that line. Okay, and then I'll just go back to, I believe, this one, and do a similar teeth closing thing. Which should be able to be achieved just with some lasso stuff. You don't have to lie on stream, we all know! It's true. Once I found that site, I couldn't stop myself. Okay, but real talk, can somebody check if it's, like, still up, even? Asking for a friend. Nah, I might have to redraw this, I don't know. Because I think if, through some miracle, we could find the specific art that Sir Kaboon was talking about from all the way back then, that would be a miracle. Griffin is actually the host of the site, I'm the founder. <laughs> Guess I'll bite the bullet. I mean, if you don't want to. I'm just saying, like, if there's any, like, existing Mobius heads in chat, then they can confirm. Okay, let's turn these back on. Uh, I guess this would be lower than that. Okay. That should cover that frame. So we're getting through these pretty quickly. I think as far as the whole, like, tilting snout down and tilting snout up business, we should be able to get that done, no problem. And... Yeah, here. Okay, on to the next one. So as a... Oh, we can actually just copy and then clear and then paste and get through these a lot quicker. And then put it onto this, and then we're good. Okay, and then layer 6. Or just 06 in this case. Everyone knows good things start with 06. Or end with, or end with 06. The site domain got bought out by a fuel company. <laughs> I think I have no idea. What's the 411 here? Be glad, Funky Rot? I mean, the whole story is, again, in the Adventure 2 highlights, so just check that out after the stream and you'll be caught up. I don't know if I want to repeat the things that happened, but... It's nothing, like, bad, but I feel like that's just something that everybody who's a part of the stream just, like... It's the, th it's the thing we all know about, but it's the thing we don't speak of, you know? I could honestly, like, <laughs> probably copy and paste the, the rest of the head, but I pride myself on wasting work, apparently. Yeah, or just be glad, Funky Rot. You could just live in peace, not knowing what happened. I share with you a piece of my childhood, and you step on me. I'm not stepping on you. I'm not. I don't know what proof I have that I don't, but I'm, I'm not. So there. Also, just because I haven't done one of these in quite a while, um, if you guys want to make art for the stream as well and send it in at the end of the stream, feel free to, and I will look at it at the end. You know, unless it's from Mobius.com. Oh, I said it. Well, <laughs> Okay, so it goes down by about this much. Okay. I'm just completely destroying your character on stream. I don't blame you for the things that happened to you as a child, okay? You had no choice in what happened, but I'm just saying... Experience is experience, and you're the expert now. Okay, 
Looks like I'm taking a little trip on my favorite rocket ship. No, Funky Rod, don't do it! You won't make it out alive! <laughs> I was a victim of circumstance. You were, though, you were. Golly, I sure hope there's no archive.org archives of that website. God, what would I possibly do? I blame society. We live in a society! How does this in between? I think this is the... okay. And I gotta keep in mind where this thing is going. So this is where the bottom of the mouth starts, and then the teeth do that. How is it spelled? It's... You're the Sonic expert. You're the Mobius.com expert. You don't know how to spell Mobius? <laughs> Mobius isn't even a Sonic word. That's just a regular word. You can figure it out. You can always just use the Wayback Machine. Yeah, that's what I meant. Is there a difference? <laughs> Try checking the, the Library of Congress. Maybe they've got it. Oh, I'm so glad you spelt that wrong, Sir Kaboon. I mean, I, yeah, you spelt it right. Rice Ram is now auto-hosting you for up to three viewers. Golly! Thanks, Rice. If you guys are not familiar with Rice Ryan, he does streams too. And he was just streaming earlier today, actually. He did some Dark Souls, which I did not watch, and some Twilight Princess, uh, not HD, just the regular one, um, which I also watched a little bit of. Um, he called me out, or rather, him and Fatback called me out for liking titties, so, you know, get him, chat. <laughs> no, thanks for the host, Rice. Rice is cool? He is. Except for the part where he, he kink-shamed me for titties, which in no situation should ever be something to be ashamed of. And I think we should teach him a lesson, boys. Local streamer gets owned on stream by streamer. I'm super excited for when you do Dark Souls Switch, cause you know you have to. What does that mean, I know I have to? Isn't the most recent launch date that we know about for Dark Souls Switch, like, October or something like that? Like, I, I know it, kept, it keeps getting delayed or something like that, but I think the most recent rumors have been pointing towards October. It's like a spooky game. I could try that for, like, Halloween or whatever. But man, I don't know if I'll find all the time between, you know, all the Shadow of the Hedgehog and Five Nights at Freddy's streams. Oh, October's gonna be a fucking train wreck. <laughs> Just the fact that I said it out loud, I was like, huh, that's my uh, schedule, isn't it? Great. What else are you going to play in that baby machine? Well, certainly not Portal, apparently. Is this the red one? No, this is the blue one. Well, it's got to be lower than this, right? Like this? I'm not sure how I, how I want to think about the dimensionality of this snout. I guess it's like about this, like a teensy bit lower. Eh? I'm not sure I understand. Oh no! Here's the problem. Oh no wait, no it's not. This isn't a problem. I thought I didn't move it down, but apparently I did. So what is the problem, if not that? Did you ever get Portal to work? My internet went out when I was trying to help. Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> uh, I just, like, like, the VOD's deleted now, um, but I just spent the night, like, um, just kind of talking with chat and hanging out and kind of thinking about what I want the schedule for the next little while to be because 
I really didn't have anything like proper planned out as far as what I wanted the schedule to be. So what ended up happening is I just like looked at what I'm currently playing and because I have like a lot of series ending right now, um, there's like a lot of gaps in the schedule. And because Portal doesn't work, didn't work, I didn't really have much to fall back on. So I just wanted to like kind of spitball with chat and think of like some, some new games uh, to start up. Um, to replace the slots of those old games. So we did think of it a little bit. We're, I'm definitely going to be doing the um, the Legend of Spyro reboot that they did uh, on the GameCube. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, I don't know. And 2 is plenty for me for now, because I've also got Mania and 3D World, and yeah, sounds good. And then I've also got that other big thing that I'm working towards, but... We'll, we'll say that for then. Also, uh, again, I mentioned this before, um, but the VOD is gone now, so who cares. Um, but I'm doing Xenoblade Chronicles eventually. Um, I just want a little bit of a gap between finishing Fire Emblem, which is like also a really long series, before I get into Xenoblade, which is going to be like an even longer series. So I want to have like just a couple of short things as a little bit of a refresher of sorts. Anyways, this frame is finished, so let's move on. Copy layer style, clear layer style. Oh wow, this is already like the last in-between. Go us. Okay, so this is 08. Let's do it. This is it, Luigi. Only Christian holds the key to Mobius. I'm really upset that you keep bringing this up, but I, I'm also very happy that isn't Xenoblade dot 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 anime? Um... Two, yes, and it's trash for it. Um, but I'd say one is debatable. Like, this is the thing. Um, I've said this many, many times. Uh, but Xenoblade 2 was originally going to be, like, the first game I was, like, ever going to stream. Um, but what ended up happening with that is I just, like, got the wrong capture card, so I had to, like, send it back. Because I got that and Xenoblade 2 on, like, the same day. Uh, well, I'm, so I'm like, well... I've got one Xenoblade and zero capture card. May as well wait, spend my time waiting playing said game. So I, I did a playthrough of that on my own time, but I think going back to Xenoblade 1 after playing Xenoblade 2 will offer a, a, a bit of a fresh perspective on that game, knowing what came after the disaster that came. Um, and who knows? I mean, there's this whole uh, DLC story that's coming up for Xenoblade 2 that I originally wasn't really interested in, but maybe after one, I can check that out. You know, if I'm not dead by then, because that game's so fucking long, and I have to do it at like two hours a pop. No, it just has anime boys, which are okay according to Griffin. It's true, it's true. Um, I know Ryan's got like his thitties out, so that's valid. Um, and that's the real problem with Xenoblade 2, is that there's not enough gay shit in it. Also, Rex is a child. They have Neko girls? No. No. Honestly, that's like the one place where Xenoblade 2 actually is good because Nia is a fucking lesbian icon. This is what MMWW Solidarity looks like. That's what it's all about. Nia's a legend. Uh oh, Sir Kabo What emote is that from? Is that like from somebody's channel or is it like a Twitch emote? I'm not super familiar with like the whole. I recognize a lot of Panutz's stuff, um, but I, that that smug anime kitty shows up a lot, and I don't know what it's from. It's from Bagel Four One One apparently. So I guess when uh, Funky Rod was saying earlier, what's the 411, what he really meant was, who the fuck is that streamer? That's very cursed, Sir Kaboon. Thanks for sharing it. I just posted too much? No, that's valid. I'm sure I abused the Keaton emote in other chats. I gotta think about this.
I really did not, like, make this mouth very good. But I'm sure it's fine. So this is three, this is three, so in between, and boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in between. Zippity zoop. Hey, Femi! <gasps> oh! Look at that! They've got the three-month subscriber badge! I guess it's already live! Look at that! Femi's a three-month subscriber! Round of applause. Bust out those clapping emojis. Thank you, Femi. I'm so proud of you. Might be on AirPod mic again. If I've been on AirPod mic this entire stream and nobody has brought it up, I am going to scream. I'm, I'm. Don't make me stream. Don't make me turn this thing around. Uh, well, hold on. Let me let me turn this off. Let me listen to the stream. Let me see how it sounds. <laughs> don't make me turn this thing around. Uh, well, hold on. Let me let me turn this off. Let me listen to the stream. Let me see oh no, that is. <laughs> don't worry. That's definitely not AirPod mics. Sorry, Griffin, I don't have the clap. Well, it's not even a Twitch emote. You can just bust out the regular clapping emojis, like so, and just do that. Oh, apparently I'm a three-month subscriber, too. I don't know. I guess I've had affiliate for about three months, so I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, um, I posted a... Let me let me grab that, actually. I posted a screenshot on my Twitter of what the sub badges look like, but I can show you guys real quick. I just gotta get all this yaoi off my timeline and just look at my profile. Where a different selection of Yaoi can be found. Let's bring this up. I said let's bring this up. There we go. Big mood. Uh, oh, big mood. Uh, big mood. There's some good tweets here. These, though. So these are what the badges look like. So uh, if you subscribe right now, this is going to be the base. Uh, apparently Femi and I have the three month. Then there's a six month and then a one year. Um, there are tiers available for two years and beyond, and then it just keeps going for like three year, four year, five year, or whatever. Um, but actually, those are locked behind partner. But so w what you guys see right now is just like um, uh, what affiliates have access to. Um, but those are fun to make, so I'm excited to add more. Should I ever reach that point? Uh, so let's see, this is one, two, th so that's that. Uh, well. This might be a little bit hard to figure out, because the bottom jaw is a little flimsy as far as this... It's a little inconsistent, so I kind of have to get clever with it. And by get clever, I mean not at all. I like the badges a lot. Thank you! I'm sorry, did I say I cared? <laughs> meat, meat clubs. I thought you said meat cubes. Thank you, Funky. I don't know, I'll cheat, I'll cheat, I'll just do whatever. It doesn't matter. Nobody's got a fucking notice, it's a single frame. In before everybody notices. I gotta like make it lower though. Yeah, just like a little bit at least. And then we'll see how the final thing looks. Let's so one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And I don't care anymore. They're simple and pop. Thanks, guys. If y'all if y'all fakers like him so much, why don't you get some yourself? Okay, th this one looks a little odd, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, speaking of um, new emotes, though, uh, there was a previous attempt I made that I also posted about on my Twitter, but I think it was on the one that ended up getting locked. Uh, but I wanted to make like an like an oh whoa face that looked like Keaton, but I, I wasn't good at working with low resolution assets, so it turned out looking very, very bad. Uh, but I've got a little more experience now, so I might take another crack at it sometime down the line, but uh, if you guys are interested in that uh, Keaton pride emote being replaced by that, then uh... I don't know, let me know, because I think that, like, the current emote is, like, fine, because Keaton is gay and that is very valid, but, uh, usually emotes are, like, you can use them, you know, for an emotion, and I feel like maybe an OO face might be a little more apt, especially for this stream, considering, you know, the streamer at the helm. You want me to spend my cold hard cash on this stream? <laughs> it's fine if you don't, I'm just teasing. 
Femi's got a blue badge, that's all I need. Alright, so I think that's the last one, so let's clear these layer styles and, uh, put these all together. Let's see what we've got. Incredible. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 frames here, and we'll fill them in. Now you see, the cheesy thing about this is that whatever you put on the first thing ends up being, uh, sent across all the other frames, so you kind of have to go back and select all and then, like, undo that. It's a little weird, but it should work out fine. And then you just gotta go through the rest of these and just click all what you want to be visible. Obviously this isn't gonna be how the actual project is put together, but as far as just like proof of concepting right now, uh, it's just fine. That's gonna be 05, and there's gonna be this. Which is a very good frame, but that's gonna be 02, and then we're gonna have this, which is gonna be a second. What, I def what I've got here, though, is definitely, like, a lot... I'm liking it a lot more than what I had before, so... Alright, moment of truth, here we go. Oh, he kind of... Look at that! Look at that, he does it! It's a little slow. I might set these to... I had these at 0.2 before, but now that there's double the frames, it's half the speed. So if I select all of these and then set it to 0.1, we might get a little more accurate uh, timing. Let's take a look. Yeah, I don't know, I think it's looking nice. Let's see how the teeth look, though, if that looks consistent. That actually doesn't look as bad as I thought. The teeth look alright. Oh, thank you for the bits, Funky Rock. The bits look like the broken tips off of pencils. Fun fact, that actually is what King K. Rool's teeth are made of. I mean, if I do need a loot emote, oh whoa, well, would be apt, wouldn't it? Guys, look at that. Guys, we did it. He does it. Alright, so as far as what we're actually doing with the source material, let's take one more look at that and just see what else you might need to do as far as storyboarding goes. Maybe like do a couple of lips poses? I don't know, let's see. Because <laughs> you see, with this, they were just able to like flap the mouth and get away with it because, you know, mocap. But Griffin over here has to be a little more clever about it. Um, so I'll probably be able to paste this O and then, of course, this single frame. <laughs> um, but the, the body is, like, largely static aside from the arms, so we shouldn't just be able to, like, draw a single pose of the body and be able to just, like, plop the head on top of that and we'll be fine. Or you could just downscale one of your commissions. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I brought up uh, a while ago. So that's another reason... Let me put the music back on. That's another reason that I haven't been able to do Galaxy Gallery is that I've been, uh, kind of... A swamped with commissions in the meantime. Um, there's like this one dude who keeps commissioning a bunch of corn and Keaton stuff from me, and the most recent thing they commissioned from me happened to be uh, a particularly horrible and nasty thing. Um, so I was like, oh, I don't want to do this, so that took me like an extra long time to do. Also, the all of these overlap look truly spectacular. But I don't know, I you know, as I said before, where um, I was just... Which one is it's open that's visible here? Okay. Uh, I just said that I wanted to, like, do whatever needs the deadline done on it first before I start doing other stuff for Galaxy Gallery, so I want to get that sort of thing out of the way. Um, no, Femi, not nice. They commissioned a very bad thing from me. But it was worth $50, so, you know, we all make sacrifices. The scaling on this might be a little weird, but I think there's enough room, at least for the body and the frame, then we'll be able to downscale it if needed. Because that's kind of the unfortunate thing. I mean, I just got rid of the shot again, but maybe is the only reference layer? I could have sworn I had it. Uh, I guess not. Let's reopen it. But if we take another look at this just one more time here, it is kind of like a distant shot, so there's actually not much room to like fill the frame, uh, but what that does mean is that we are going to have to draw the full body, so... And maybe this. I don't know if I want to do this yet. I, we'll see. I might for extra credit. I don't think we're going to reach that by then. Maybe in terms of storyboards? Who knows? 
Maybe like we can just spend the night getting just the storyboards done, and then whenever I do Galaxy Gallery next time, we can just dive directly into like the proper animation of it. So let's just get like all the prep work done tonight, and then we should be good, I think. The possibilities are endless on what it could be. Oh, are you guys speculating about what the commission was? <sighs> it was Corrin and Keaton, and it involved feet. That is all. They're probably gonna honestly end up commissioning more for me, because they they expressed an intent to, um... But they, had, they started off with like a whole list of the, the, the different things that they wanted, and I've kind of just been banging through those, for lack of a better word. Um, and I think that this particular thing that I just mentioned is like the worst of it, so hopefully whenever they whenever they feel ready to commission again, um, it's a little less traumatizing, I think is the, the right word for it. No joke, that was my first guess. <laughs> Oh, Femi, very good use of Mike's new, um, Poochie emote. Yo, Poochie Nation, baby. We out here. Alright, speaking of feet, though, let's, uh, get King K. Rules up in here. I forget I ever said that. That's... ignore that. <laughs> I thought of something way worse, TBH. Oh, <gasps> guys! Keaton and Poochie are one and the same. It's confirmed. Okay, let's see. If we actually go back, I... Ugh, hold on. This might take a little moment to dig up. But the the unfinished version of... Like, the first take I did of this over on the Full Galaxy with the last Galaxy Gallery stream, um, with this King K. Rule stuff, that was, like, a full-body thing. However... Where is it? Yeah, it's pretty far back. It's, like, a month ago. Damn. Uh, let's see. Let me grab that. Let me grab that. You can you can see. Oh my! This looks like a fucking Peter Griffin Family Guy pose. Let's see. This is this is fucking modern art. Also, I'm sure seeing this little overlay within the stream overlay is very surreal right now. However, I did animate a little bit of it, so I'll I'll show that at least so you have an idea of like what the earlier version looked like. I think. Is that what's gonna happen here? Griffin, you better not disappoint me. Oh, kind of. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of what I had going before, but right here it's like a full body turn, and he like he's like he turns silently and then starts giggling, uh, which doesn't fit the timing of the audio, and also it didn't really look good. So I wanted to redo it, and that is what I have done here. I do like the the way the turn looks, but it doesn't necessarily fit. So here we are now. I'm just saying that this is kind of the general scaling in the body and whatnot. Uh, so I gotta redo it. I gotta like relearn how to draw this this chubby little crocodile. He could do the snooty anime girl laugh pose, like the back of his hand slightly covering his mouth. Oh, you mean the oh? <laughs> hmm. Well, with the way the mouth is right now. I don't know, he's, he's got, I think his arms are like too stubby to do something like that, but I get what you're going for. That would be good. Hmm. I think I'll just kind of draw the body independently of the head because I don't have any fucking clue what I'm doing, and then we'll maybe come back to that. Uh, also, this music has ended, so let's find something else. What's the Donkey Kong, I asked this last time as well, but what's the Donkey Kong Country song that's got like, it's like the do 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 Let me go find that. Feet are hard to draw. That's why them hentai artists hide the feet. Thanks for the input, Sir Kaboon. Appreciate it. Uh, that said, though... Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, mine? It's like the mine... It's like something minecart. Just draw socks on everybody. That way you can avoid drawing feet forever. But that's what they want. That's, what the, that's where the commissioners get you. I think it's called Mining Melancholy? That is exactly what it's called. Go Griffin! See, I know my Kong. That's actually really smart, and I never noticed. Exactly. Okay. Let's draw this croc. 
Yo, Crocs out for King K. Rool, baby. I'll try to at least draw his like little cape thing, because that should be like the easiest bit to get for now. And it can stays consistent between frames. Oh god. <laughs> That's this is I'm really proud of how this frame came out. Just like this tiny little split second in between. This looks good. I'm proud of that. It really sells the gasp. Yeah, I might like kinda angle it a little bit more because this is the resting pose of the face. King K Croc with socks. Yo, we're on some Dr. Seuss shit now. Kaboon is the resident hentai expert. Well, you, you did start your training from a young age. Alright, so let's see, and then I want to like do some, some of this. Figure out what I want to do with the hands. And this little reference thing, I had, like, his very floppy titties. Uh, but then I also had some, like, um, like T-Rex arms going on. I think I might stick with that. Yeah, there is going to be, like, a little bit of animation to the body as far as, like, kind of the shoulders going up and down along with the movement to the head to kind of sell the laughing motion a little bit more. Um, but aside from that, it's, it's not going to require, like, as much redrawing as the rest did. I feel bad drawing these T-Rex arms, though, because it reminds me of a fucking Seth MacFarlane pose, and I hate it. How did I do these titties again? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, they went, like, a little... More, something more like that. Okay. And then we just, you know, these enormous... I mean, obviously, it's it's not going to fit on frame, but I think we can do some scaling to make it work. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't know what I did with this to make it look as decent as it did. He's doing the pe <laughs> he is doing the Peter laugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Lois, check out what I got Donkey Kong to do. Why is Donkey Kong in the dishwasher? Get the fuck out of here, Griffin. Get out of here, me. Oh, did I do something to prompt everybody to start posting dogs barking in the chat? Was there a dog bark in the background? Yeah, sounds about right. He looks a little too short, though. I think that's, like, the, the, the problem here. It certainly doesn't help <laughs> as far as not making him look like Peter. Also, hello, Paraka. Welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. I got a split. All right. Uh, see ya, Funky Rock. Thank you for stopping by, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the feet. I, in, even in this, and in the previous version, and in these little examples, I never really figured out how to properly make the legs look good. So I guess that's going to be a point of contention. The thing about emotes is that they can mean anything. Wow. I guess so. Except uh, my emote, which can only mean one thing, and that is that Keaton is gay. And he loves you. Jesus Christ, this looks horrible. See, this is why I don't draw feet. But it's a full body thing, so there's no way out of it this time. I gotta stay true to the the source material. <sighs> like, if I were to try to draw, like, a regular-ass foot, I could probably, like, do something pretty decent if I, like, you know... And then, you know, sock. Like, I can get the general shape going on, but when it's these fucking lizard feet, it's, like, different. 
put pink striped socks on him. Oh boy. Nobody loves me, Griffin. How dare you assume such? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Would the viewers prefer if I tell them I hate them? Damn. Jesus, I can't unsee that now. Whoever brought that up is getting banned. Hey, Donkey Kong, check it out. Only if you say it slowly. Uh oh. I think I just need to change, like, the titty to body ratio. I think that's. You know, it is very unlike me to do such a, a horrible thing, but I think in this particular instance with King K. Rule, I think that's just what we have to do here to protect ourselves from the Seth MacFarlane. Because, like, right down to the body type, it's pretty difficult to ignore. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Although, again, the T-Rex arms really do not help. Maybe that's the key. I'll, like, give him, like, a belt, and then I'll just give him, like, just a JPEG of Peter Griffin's legs. Or, maybe I won't have to scale anything down at all, and maybe this is just the full size of his body, and we don't even see his legs. He just looks like a rubber ducky. And I'll just do that, then. That works. I did it. Legs solved. <laughs> he looked like a fucking slug. Oh boy. As far as the upper body goes, though, that's suits coming together a little bit. Yeah, I'm thinking tiny baby nugs too. But, like, up here, as far as, like, the legs and, like, the weight distribution goes, this looks pretty decent. I like how this came out, but it's just managing to reproduce it that, that seems to be the problem here. Because I'm not too good at it. Let me, like, kind of get rid of the arms for now, because I think that kind of, like, distracts too much. I just need to get, like, the proper body shape right first before I start busying things up with such extra things like arms. Aramzu! Yeah, if I can just figure out, like, what to do with the torso and the legs, then we can start thinking about other things. I think when I manage to figure out- oh, well, this is even more of a Peter Griffin pose. Um... Gotta think about- no, well, it kinda goes out a little bit, but just a little bit of a... I guess that kind of hangs between the legs. I don't know, guys. I'm lost. So when is the deadline? I think there's like a checkup in August. I mean, I still have many, many months to work on this, but um, when I did the Mama Luigi reanimated project, I finished that in like mid-2016, and then it came out like sometime in 2017. So I just prefer to like just get this done while I have the time and the freedom to procrastinate because otherwise you know, with, with something like animation where it's like so time consuming it's a lot harder to crunch something like that when it's such a like a large project so I think now I think uh, around August actually is about when the Mama Luigi one got done so timing I guess How on earth did I pull this off? I might increase the canvas size for a second here, just so I can, like, have a little more space to work with and then shrink it down later. Uh, so let's do... 2140 by... Honestly, let's just do 2140, sure. Just double the height. Yeah, I don't think there is a specific deadline yet. I think they're just, they're just going to do a checkup sometime this month and then they're basing the deadline around the progress of that. But as far as, like, how the other animators are doing, there's only, like, 
I think five more scenes that the project leads are gonna be doling out in terms of like stuff that still needs to be assigned to people. So I think it should be good. How much emphasis is on the legs in the clip? I mean, they're not moving or anything, but they still have to be included. It still is a full body pose, and I need to, you know, I can't have them floating without any legs. I just gotta figure out like the general posing for the torso, the torso, uh, for the torso and everything like that. So I could crop it, but I like how the background looks, so I don't want to get rid of it necessarily. No, 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 because it hangs. That's the key. Make him a ghost. He drowned after falling off of the dock. Your own lore. It's I'm not doing this. Hmm. The shoulders are like a little bit higher up in this other reference. Maybe that's part of the key. Let's make him a little larger and a little higher up. Let's see. And the body doesn't necessarily connect to the shoulders. It starts a little bit. It's kind of... Goes under this little arm socket. Ugh. What if he had photorealistic man legs? That is a good option that I am genuinely considering. However, I don't know. I would I would like to be able to, to do this. Because even though these look a little scribbly, like, it's fine, really. Like, the rest is... It sells the pose with this, right? And I want to be able to at least, like, reproduce that. I don't know what the hell I did to pull that off as easily as I did this one time. And I'll now, I'll just never be able to do it again. Looking like a fucking boo. I don't know, I think it's like decent enough, right? But I, it's, it's especially because I want the legs to be like kind of crouched, and that's like even harder to do. Maybe I gotta, like, give him leg sockets. Oh, leg sockets actually might be the key. What if I actually, like, do give him, like, reptile feet and make it like that? He looks like, like, raptor feet. But that don't look good. If they were higher up, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't look like it attaches to the body. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like it distributes the weight. I feel like if this was a real thing that was standing in front of you, it would just tip over. Like, if I could make the foreleg bigger and then, like, move it up a little further, like, I don't know. I'm just grasping at straws here. You see, this is the similar problem that I ran into the last time I tried this. I think the whole face thing that I've just done is fine. Oh, that, no, undo, undo. But I really did spend a lot of time struggling with the body the first time as well. And even then it didn't work out. It didn't look very nice. Like, even just drawing, like, super basic leg shapes, just to at least figure out how I want the weight to look, it doesn't look like- it doesn't look like he's standing on them. His upper legs and thighs need to be a little thicker if you're going for realism. Well, I don't trust that chap because y'all are relentlessly horny, but I'll go for it. Maybe I will glance at, um, that- oh, 
Okay, I was really worried about what was about to reopen with this Command Shift T, but we're good. Um, but just like maybe take one more look at this, just to see what what sort of solution I came to the last time. Because I came to some sort of epiphany earlier, and then I just forgot it, I guess. Yeah, so it looks like I made them thicker here as well. I'm obviously not going to like direct, yeah, but there's definitely like a lot more leg going on, and it kind of continues up the side of the body. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe not. it's not even a matter of... It's, I think it might be how the back is. If I make that look like a little more hunched, that might be the key. Especially as if I want him to look like he's kind of... His legs to be, like, bent, that might sell the pose a little more as well. Let's give that a shot. Just a quick... And then... his big meaty thighs, and then something like that. I mean, now the rest of his body looks horrible, but, you know, it's a it's something. I think we're getting too hung up on what I currently have here. Let's just start from scratch. I think maybe, as well, kind of what I did here is kind of, like, start from some basic shapes and, like, build off of those blocks. So maybe that's also part of the key. Like, just a big old circle, and we'll see what happens. We'll see where it takes us. Like, usually I, when I when I do bodies, I usually don't have to, like, strip things down to that kind of basic element, but maybe it'll it'll be to our advantage here with, with the King K. Rule thing. Bailey. <laughs> he looks like a fucking egg! Now it's just a matter of where I want to place the circle. I mean, he has a neck, so I think just like that is fine. And then just connecting it like that. I need a quick little cape to separate that. He's just a, a, a sphere with boobs. That's just how it is. It also might be helpful to just like maybe use the posing of the original clip as a bit of a reference to see how they did it. Like, I don't know. Let's leave this here and then take another look at that clip. How do, how do his legs look in this? Let's pull out some references here. Well, he's got some really weird looking legs, so great. Yeah, his legs are like they be looking like this. Like they kind of go to a central point and then go out like this. But they have like very defined knees for some reason. Maybe defined knees is the key. Just weird ass knee bones. Okay, what if I actually like gave a shit about these feet though? And then just gave them like pointy toes. I guess. No, that looks horrible. No. And the angle on these boobs are all wrong. It's all wrong! Okay, start from scratch again. Oh boy. This is what held me back the first time. This is why the last stream when I did this uh, King K. Rool thing was a nightmare. Mining melancholy is right. I think the calves are bending out a little too far. Um, in the reference that I'm looking at, or in mine? I mean, at least I front-loaded the actual art progress, but it'd be a shame if I can't get anything else done. Especially because I wanted to do all the storyboarding stuff within this one session. Well, I can. Yours? Yeah thought so. Yeah, maybe a little more of like a, oh my god, this circle thing looks horrible. How did I pull it off the first time? This seems so strange to me. Okay, also the brush hardness was wrong. Oh, yeah, just make him a fucking vehicle. Beep beep, climbing boys. 
kind of looks like a helicopter more than anything, actually. And then his and then his head spins, and that's how it he lifts off. Uh, anyways, I think we're getting a little sidetracked, so let's maybe <laughs> do the scene. But they all look like cars from Cars. Don't say these words. Don't say these words, Femi. I do not like those words. Have you thought about doing commissions on stream? Have you thought about perhaps looking at the commission prices on the right of the stream and the PayPal link at the bottom of the stream? The ones that have been on screen for the past two hours? Might be worth a look. Uh, no, yeah, commissions are always open, especially if you're interested in commissioning something that is, for once, not Corn and Keaton, and especially if it's something that's not related to feet. Also, if you say hop in, boys, the obvious jump is Vor. Oh boy, it's that time of, if that's that time of night. I think one of Sir Kaboon's earliest presences on the stream was actually talking about Vor, so that's great. I'm sure that won't enable or bring back any, any memories, any behaviors that have not been seen since. I didn't even want to say anything, but it's so easy sometimes. Femi, please. You know it's wrong. Wait, what else is... Okay, there we go. I was wondering if I was selecting the whole frame. He talks about me with such shame. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't know much about spheres. What the hell did I do to... Okay, so the circle was like completely not attached. It was about, It was pretty much centered as far as the head to spine goes. So it was like that, I guess. And then... Little separation there, and then... Well, it was more like maybe that. Anyways, the cape doesn't really matter. I just like to add it for flair. Um, yeah, I mean, I was kind of kind of dropping them like a little bit like this, but with King K. Rule, it's a little more like the turtle shell look that it really should be. So maybe I'll try that, and then maybe that's the missing part. I don't know. And then I can just like reflop them in post. I don't know. Hold on. Guys, I think we're getting somewhere with this one. I think we're getting somewhere with this attempt. That's a very large belly button. Cavernous, one might say. I don't know. That's looking pretty decent if you ask me. I don't know. It's I know you're a mod, but can you you not can you not do that? Can you not enable this the chat right now? Your job is to destroy them. Okay, so that's looking I think good. I think if I just figure out what to again, what to do with the legs, then that's like the missing piece. Might bring the hang on this tummy a little bit smaller. Just shrink that down a little bit in terms of height. I don't like people feeling bad. Well then, what are you doing in this chat? Because that's all you've ever been doing to me. Okay, let's see. Eh, might have been better, bigger. It's just a matter of figuring out what to do with the goddamn legs. Wait a second, fellas. We could be on the cusp of a great of a great discovery. Actually, I don't think so. But you know, 
sometimes, sometimes you just gotta get a little excited for no reason. Okay, I think if I like start bringing down the- cause this, this whole, this side could be anything, but I think the further side is a pretty consistent shape. So we'll just do that to like start with, or whatever, and then think about it from there. I don't know. <laughs> Quote unquote positivity stream. It's true, I'm a fraud. <sighs> I mean, that's something. I don't know. But now it looks weird. Perhaps the key... It's looking definitely a lot better than any of the other attempts, but that's really not saying much. This is a fucking catastrophe. How long have I, have I been working on just this body stuff alone? This needs to cease. Also, thank you for all the viewers again tonight. I do appreciate it. doing yeah you really pricked a pricked you really picked a prime night to uh, drop in huh what is the secret of these leggies that is definitely not how a crouch looks, he's doing a fucking Michael Jackson lean. God, the depressed dog looks so good. Which one is that from again? I know I've asked about that one specifically before because it's just so good, but I believe I've forgotten. No. Oh, also Bagel411. I see. Damn, we've got some good emotes. I've got to step up my game. <sighs> I don't know. You got any? You guys got any leg suggestions? Cause I'm at a loss. so bad a lot of people sub to him for his emotes man maybe that's my what's like what I'm missing if we just had better emotes I mean I did say that I wanted to do like new emotes eventually on a galaxy gallery stream it may be more productive just to scrap this now and try to come back to it another time <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking stubbier too, but if they're like too short, then the belly hangs lower than them, so I at least have to come up with that kind of height. I think it's about as stubby as I'm comfortable going. Unless you mean like wider. You know what, I think this is the problem. This is the- his- here? 
the way he's standing, I'm like, the way I'm doing it, I'm like kind of trying to bring the feet in. King Rule here is doing a fucking, like, he's like man spreading. He's doing like a power pose. Like instead of bringing them in like this, maybe I'll like bring them out. And then that kind of like distributes the wider weight a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, this could be going somewhere. I think this looks hilarious though because he has no arms and it, it looks like these are his arms, but... And then maybe now T-Rex arms? Oh no, that looks terrible. No, yeah, that, that does not look good. I think I'm going somewhere with these legs, though. Definitely I have the right idea in mind. No, it's way too short. <laughs> Where's my mega buff arms? I don't know, in the in the hypothetical stream where I end up drawing Nysala, probably. Or in the many Keat Week streams, although I, I do understand that. My my own uh, goals for drawing large Keatons is not where it should be. That should not... No, yeah, nailed it! Maybe if I like bring them down to like tinier points like this and then turn them into feet. <laughs> no. I think if I like keep this shape though and then like freely rotate it along some sort of axis, then maybe that's like a I could just figure out where I need to bring this. Oh. But now this is the same thing where I'm like trying to bring both of the legs inwards and then it doesn't look good. So what's the truth? I did. What if I... What if I did kind of incorporate a bit of like a body lean before trying the legs? Kind of change the positioning of everything here. And then draw the positioning of the legs based on that so they start higher up. Then they've got the little bit like that. <sighs> I don't know. Actually, I mean, it doesn't look good, but that is kind of the closest I've gotten. And then maybe one leg is like, one foot is like this, and then one is just regular. No, that doesn't look good. I'm on like the cusp of it. I'm like consistently on the cusp of it, but I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know, anybody got a fucking Kermit they wanna use as a wanna lend as a reference? He's got feet that look like this, don't he?
You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I think this whole business is distracting me. I'm gonna... Well, I mean, I guess I'll just select all and then... Well, how do I want to do this? I want to keep all these assets that I've created, but I want to separate them from the core sphere. I think these are kind of like confusing me as to where the legs need to be. And then I'll put this back in once the legs look good. Just move that off. Sure. I'm bad at drawing, so I really don't have any advice. Dude, same hat. I don't know what makes you guys think I'm any good at drawing. like thinking about this in the wrong order, right? Because the way I usually do things is kind of like draw circles as like little sockets for where I want all the limbs to go, and then do like in-between circles and then kind of like connect those, you know? And that's not what I'm doing, I'm kind of like trying to freehand it. Maybe that'll help a little bit more, I don't know. But I do not mean that for the arms. But if I try it for the legs, maybe we will learn something. Or I'll flounder around for another hour. Who knows? It's anyone's guess. Also, I'm not drawing the circle still. I'll do like these little triangles for where I want the feet to be and what I want them to just generally be shaped like. And then I'll just kind of place those in random spots. I like break it down even further. I don't know, usually I don't have to do this, but King K. Rool is like a, he, a, a generic anime boy he is not, so I gotta think about him a little differently. I'm telling you, try drawing tree stumps, then putting feet on them. I don't know, I'm gonna follow this train of thought a little while longer, and then I'll try that out. It's. I'm going somewhere with this, hold on. Yeah, I think this is like, what I've been missing. He has no style, he has no grace. I don't know. That looks more like something than anything else has, so... I'm inclined to follow this a little further, but once you start erasing things like this, it starts looking a little weird. It's getting there, though. You see, though? It's getting there. I think I just gotta mess with this front leg a little bit more, and then we might have something that I can actually work with. Emphasis on might. Yeah, I think I just gotta bring this one inwards a little bit more, but I think this could be- this could be something right here. Holy shit. And then if we move this and we put it back on and then 
maybe move a couple of things around and then... Fellas, I think we've conquered the king. I mean, we'll, we'll clean up a couple of things here and there, but I think... I think we may have arrived at something. That looks good. Like, shift a little more to make it look a little more hunched, and then... Let's see. I mean, no, but, you know... It still looks a little weird, but it's definitely closer to what I'm trying to get than anything else that I've done so far, so it's something. Huzzah! Yeah, I might mess with this front leg a little bit more. But it's, it's going places, guys. It's going places. What if I made him, like, super hunched, though? Probably not, like, that hunched, but holy shit, guys. I might actually just redo all of these, because that's, like, actually tilted, but... do that and then kind of attach the body to it, we might have a little bit of a better look on our hands. Yeah, and then only have the shoulders come up. That could be it. That could be the missing key. These arms definitely look a little scribbly, but <laughs> that's probably because they are. Got little kind of gauntlet thingies. Might make that a little bit thicker to match the rest of the arm. And yeah, it's coming together, it's coming together. This is why I don't like doing roughs on Galaxy Gallery, because this is all it is, and then I just end up <laughs> floundering in front of an audience rather than on my own. This kind of shit happens all the time, though. It's, it's just part of the process. Mm, the legs look a little weird again. I could make them longer. But I'm worried that if I, like, start fucking with the legs too much, I, I might undo what finally ma started making them look good. And then we're gonna be all back to step one. I'm gonna get myself into a sawing a leg off of a wobbly table situation. Although that does look pretty okay. It looks a little bit like he's standing on an uneven surface, but we've definitely laid the foundation for what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, just kind of make that a little less steep. Just a slight crouch. Yeah, now we're cooking. Right, give him his little tail, give him his little cape. He's good to go. Baby, you got a stew going. Do affiliates get tiered emotes? Uh, yeah, I have the option to add $10 and $25 tier emotes. Uh, I just haven't added them yet. I don't know what to do for them. 
If you guys have any suggestions for that, and then hey, feel free to dish them out in whatever theoretical emote stream ends up happening. God, look at this. Look at what I've created. Look at his majesty. Alright, so, now that we have this as like a good base to work off of, I'm gonna name this Bond 1, and unfortunately, there is more body to draw. However, now that we have this, we can actually use it as a base just to like create a small alternative, and then it can just, um, switch back and forth between the two versions as the pull head business goes along. So, you know, just a little more slightly raised shoulders, lower body, stuff like that, no big deal. Just a small redraw. Hands come up a little higher too. Maybe the, that B should go a little lower actually. Ooh, Keaton Prime but with the red eye meme would be good. That is a good one. The red laser eyes? Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Don't you worry. The one in the uh, the rules page on my Twitch uh, cards? And maybe even, like, the shape of his body can change a little bit to kind of, like, make him, like, kind of, I don't know, whatever diaphragms do when they laugh. Like, a little less steep? I don't know. Is maybe like come out a little wider. Yeah, I just gotta give him like that Barney esque figure. I think that's what was missing. swap between those and we'll see how that looks. So we'll go to frame one, we'll get rid of both. We'll actually leave one on, but then turn it off on every other frame. Let's see. Oh shit, what the fuck? That looks good! We're figuring it out! It's used when chat starts talking hetero. <laughs> Aw, guys, this looks good! It's it's finally come together, I figured it out. Aw, what the fuck? That came out much nicer than I was expecting it to look. I finally figured it out! I sold the emotion. I did it. Guys, I'm very proud of this. I, I went from, like, hating it so intensely, but as soon as I hit that play button, I'm like, holy shit, what have I just done? This is very good, thank you. Alright, so from here, all I gotta do, I might actually do this on like layer 11, but I'm just gonna make all the layers visible and then. <laughs> God, what a mood. That feel when you're dissociating. Uh, and then I'll just, you know, scale it to fit on the dock. Man, it's gotta be like half the size though, it takes up so little of the frame. That's what's so disappointing about it. Uh, where exactly? I think he's standing, like, here on the dock, right? Let me take one more look at this. A little further to the side. Because, again, if you were not here for the last stream, this is a scene in which we got Donkey Kong over here. I 
and he's looking all sad, right? But it's actually the iconic scene where he's like really thick. So he's all like, you may spank it once. So you gotta leave room for him. But in this particular scene with K. Rool laughing, he, he gives him a bad idea and then he's like, oh, good idea. I'll go do that now. And then King K. Rool laughs and says this is too easy because what he has done is trick Donkey Kong into right into his trap. So let's see, I think we just gotta turn these off, right? Yeah, okay. So now this is the final scene, actually. Let's change the canvas size back to 1920 by 1080. Then we'll full size it. So this is generally gonna be what like the full crop will look like. Look at that. Look at that man giggle. Look at that man jiggle! To be honest, Diddy Kong and Toad should be in modes. Oh, because of the fucking hey, DK! Like, the voices? They are a very iconic part of the stream, to be sure, but... I only have so many slots, and I don't know if they're necessarily, like, you know... Like, maybe Keaton should be the higher tier, and then maybe, like, a stream joke should be the base tier? I don't know, that's something I wanted to decide with chat, so maybe we can, after the stream, we'll just talk about it in the suggestion channel if you guys want to? I don't know. I'm glad you finally got it. Honestly, me too. I was honestly very worried that this was gonna, like, fizzle out, and I was never going to figure out what to do with the body, but oof, I'm really proud that I crossed that threshold and made something that works. Um, I might do some, maybe some alternate mouth poses as just like some extra credit, just so I can have some more storyboarding stuff done. Because all I'm going to be doing tonight is the storyboarding, so may as well, right? Like maybe one where he's making like a like a th noise. So maybe like he's, you know, doing the thing with his tongue. I don't know. Th. Or maybe like a closed mouth one. We can do a couple of alternates, I don't know. Oh, but the lines are going to be so much thicker now because I scaled it. How can it be like this? So, you know, something's not right here. Oh, I locked the lair, that's what's not right. How about four thickness? That's still thicker, but okay. It's the closest I can get. Poor little dude's gonna be like biting down on his tongue. Oh, actually, I gotta make sure that it matches with the other teeth that are already here. Like that. Yeah, maybe he'll like have his tongue stick out like a snake when he makes those noises. Okay, so there's a th. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one, and then one for maybe like... With just like a closed mouth with sharp teeth, and then maybe an ooh and a properly closed mouth with just like... That same kind of... <sighs> the expression that he had in the, in the Galaxy Gallery thing, where it's just like a very like kind of face. I don't want to redraw it because it's very time consuming, but you'll see it eventually. You'll know what I'm talking about soon enough. It's gonna be nice to be able to <laughs> post something on the regular uh, YouTube channel, though, because 
I think the last thing I posted there was a demo reel when I was uh, trying to get hired back in February. Yeah, was that like a story I ever shared? Um, I think the music is maybe a little too loud uh, compared to my speaking voice, but yeah, that's a thing. I, I applied to Domix. That was a thing that happened. The, the guys that do the YouTube things. Uh, apparently they were like Canadian based and they were looking for a job around the time that I was initially looking to move out. So I tried to get like a job with them and then, it, but that fell through. And so I, I stayed here for the time being. The regular YouTube, yeah, um, <laughs> that's weird that there are people who like know me for my stream stuff and not for my other stuff, but yeah, I have a YouTube channel, uh, where you can actually see, um, the, uh, Mama Luigi reanimated thing, I posted like my scene from it, uh, except it directs to, at the end of the video it like directs to a username which I no longer use, so it's like outdated, and I can't put an annotation over it because they got rid of those, <laughs> so it's just stuck as the old username. But, yeah, uh, I've got like that, and then a demo reel, and then I think, I don't know if it's unlisted or not, but there's also a video of Scooby-Doo falling down the stairs, that's another <laughs> thing I animated forever ago, um, just a falling down a very long flight of stairs, um, and then, I think I have like a bunch of YouTube poops there, but they're all unlisted. I can link them in the shitpost channel though, that's probably a good place for them. And then maybe, so now I'm going to make him, like, say, ooh, for the too easy. So I might give him, like, a very, like, wide-eyed expression. Because it's just that easy. Got to give him those... Luscious lizard lips. Hello, Donkey Kong. Here's an idea for you. LMAO, I laughed way more than I should have at the Scooby-Doo video. I'm glad that even in this day and age, it can still <laughs> inspire. If you want Diddy Kong back, there's only one thing to do. I'm getting way too much mileage out of this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if this- this kind of does look like a kissy face instead of him saying, like, enunciating an O. Maybe I should, like, rethink this. Like, maybe put, like, an O here. Or, like, a really big O. Oh! <laughs> There's potential in this. There's potential in this. There is very good potential in this, actually. That's a good K rule face. Looking like fucking Birdo. I might make his eyes wider as well. That one's been my favorite for so long now. Well, there's really not much competition, is there? Maybe I'll make his like eyebrows higher up as well. Quote unquote eyebrows. Eye shapes. Eyebrow shapes. His eye cavities. This is too easy. So there's ooh. I might keep like the this whole thing going on. No, I don't know. This looks better, I think. Yeah, 
You see, I don't know if this looks like an ooh. It looks more like a oh, <gasps> like he's gasping. And in that context, I think that's a very good face, but I'm not sure it's quite what I'm trying to go for. Yeah, ooh would be like smaller and then... <laughs> Man, I, know, I thought those lips were kissable before. What if they were like really like this? No, that just looks like... <laughs> I'm coming up with a lot of great phases here, but none of them are really what I'm trying to go for. It made me feel like... I'm making a lot of great faces accidentally here, but again, none of them are intentional. This one looks good. It all looks like he's just being, like, very shocked. <laughs> Let's see, what's some other Donkey Kong Country music I can pull up here? What do we got here? Forest Interlude? Forest Interlude. <gasps> I almost kind of like this one more. I think this is the closest I've come to a two-face. Sure. And then, like, one more closed mouth one, and then that's probably it. I did start late tonight, so I could just cut this one a little bit shorter. This is really all the storyboard stuff that I needed to get done, so whenever I do another one of these... Oh, good voice crack, Griffin. Um, then we can just hop straight into Adobe Animate and continue from there. Also, not actually as familiar with Forest Interlude as I am with the other Donkey Kong Country tracks. David Wise, what the fuck? He didn't even have to do anything and he surprised me yet again. Yeah, so for this one, we'll just kind of keep the teeth the same, except it'll be like locked like this. This is so good, what the fuck? <laughs> David Wise! I can't believe you've done this. Like this little bit I recognize, but I don't like remember anything else from it. God damn. Donkey Kong music, be good. Let's actually see if we can- oh god. If we can build anything out of these mouths that we have to kind of like, get a general idea of what the end dialogue will look like. So if we... Like, you know, just kind of like, try to con construct some really basic lip sync. Let's see what we can do with this. Because that can be like this. This is like a sus noise. And then is two. I think that lasts a little bit longer. And then E Z E. lip syncing ladies and gentlemen. Then second one delay. Let's see how that looks. Wow, okay, not bad. Can 
Can you see it? I don't know. Actually, for this face, might do something a little special with this one. I'll like aim it upwards <laughs> and then have the eyes looking back down. Pathetic. Well, I don't think I can do it quite that easily. I might just redraw them. Oh, actually, curve like this is very good. There's those lizard eyes I'm looking for. God damn it, that, that, there we go. I think that looks better. Let's take another look. Ooh, yeah, there it is. Cause he really like leans into two in that clip. I wonder how well we can sync it up. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Cause it like keeps looping, right? This is too easy! The two might need to be a little longer, but generally, I think, baby, we've got a stew going! Let's see. Can I, like, make this loop in here, or...? <laughs> this is too easy! Oh, he does, like, another gasp at the end. Maybe we can literally just go back to this frame? And then that. For, like, a split second. <laughs> this might need to be a little shorter, but I think we're on the right track here. The timing honestly doesn't really matter as far as like any functional storyboarding purpose goes, but I want to see how far I can make this go. <laughs> the fucking this I need to be point two. I just want to do it just to prove that I can. <laughs> oh, guys, holy shit! See, this is the trouble, is because once you go into a different window, it stops going. So you gotta, like... Okay, there is a bit of a delay once you press play, so you just gotta be really quick about it. I'll move the windows, like, really close together. Nailed it. Okay, hold on. You know what I'm going for here, though. You know what I'm going for. Nailed it. This is too easy. How many times do I gotta click this? Hold on now. So if I'm in a window and then I just click it like this? Okay, I'm like double clicking it and then like repausing it. I thought I had to like click once to select the window and then click a second time to play, but it looks like we can just do the one. This is too easy. You get the idea. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I guess that's that's that for tonight. I don't know. There he is. There's the lad. There's King K. Rule. He's at it again. Let me just, like, take this and then make the background full transparency, because, you know, thumbnails be like that. Okay, great. Honestly, fuck it! Let's stream myself making the thumbnail! I'll give you a peek into the process. <laughs> no, I do not want to print this. Let's do it. Knock out two boards with one stone. Let's see, so this would be part 10 of Galaxy Gallery, so we'll do that and then swap to that logo. Behind the scenes, truly then just pop that in and then, boom, thumbnail. Maybe like a bit of a close-up, because faces make good thumbnails. Maybe not that close. There you go. Thumbnail for the night. However, 
There is one more piece of the puzzle here as far as making Galaxy Gallery thumbnails goes, and that is including everybody else's art. So before we uh, sign off for tonight, let's see if anybody else uh, submitted any art for tonight. Doesn't seem like it though. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? <laughs> nah, that's fair enough. I started pretty late. Alright, uh, well, if that is the case, then I'll just- oh boy, let's not make a new text thing. Uh, so we'll save this. We'll save this as a PNG named Galaxy Gallery 10. And there it goes. Off to the depths to be used whenever it needs to be. So, with that, that is Galaxy Gallery for tonight. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at the Full Galaxy, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. You can also subscribe to me here on Twitch and get, I don't know, a fancy subscriber badge now. Um, as well as emotes which might change, more might be added, who knows. The things that you get when you're a subscriber, you get the idea. Um, you can also check me out on Twitter, Tumblr, and Discord. Um, there's all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out in, um, both on and off stream. And if any of that interests you, then you can check it out in the Twitch cards below if you're watching this live, or in the YouTube description if you're watching the VOD. Good night, see you, Griffin. Yeah, you guys have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Um, saw a lot of people uh, come through, so I really appreciate that. Again, uh, pretty above average viewership, so thanks, thanks a lot again for that. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time with uh, probably a real stream. I mean, Galaxy Galleries are still real streams, but as far as just like a two slot thing. <laughs> I haven't done that in a little while, so I'll, I'll try to do that tomorrow. Maybe some 3D World in Sonic Mania? Maybe something new? I talked about playing a game, so we'll see which ones make it. I don't know. Have a good night, guys.